What's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning back to my channel, Freedom Chaser. My name is Sam, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Today in this video, I am going to be showing you an update on my garden. Um, I put a garden in about a month ago. I put a bed, a garden bed in. It is a four by eight, and I planted quite a few things in there. Uh, this was my first time doing it, and I'm so proud of myself because I did it all by myself. And just sitting here watching the food grow, or the plants grow, just checking on it every day has been such an awesome experience. Uh, prior to this, I had never planted anything before in my life. So knowing that I put these seeds into the earth, and here they are trying to produce food, it is such a cool feeling. Like super awesome to me. Um, I'm blown away. I wish I would have done this sooner. Um, but I would recommend anybody if they don't, if they've never planted anything, like just plant something, a little, maybe something in a little pot, maybe some herbs to start with. I don't know, but this is such a cool feeling to me. So I'm going to take you over to the garden and show you a little update on what, uh, on how it's looking. Here we are, the beautiful garden I'm so proud of. Um, here we have, what did I plant here? I tried to put a marker in it, but it, it kind of got all funky. Uh, cucumbers, these are my cucumber plants. They have grown tremendously. It's almost like they popped up overnight. And they have little flowers on them. You can see how exciting. Okay, those are cucumbers, those two. And this is my kale. I cannot wait to eat that on a salad. It's, I think it's almost ready. And these here are okras, I believe. One, two, three, four of them. Um, they're getting really tall. Uh, I think this one's a carrot. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, enough of that. Uh, this was a bell pepper. Um, it hasn't grown very much at all, but we'll see. Oh, and this hole right here, you see that hole? That's a crawfish hole. They come in and they dig holes in the yard and they got in my garden. So pooey on that. Yeah, and there's a little, let me see the shadow on this camera. The little way they got in right there. Anyways, these are the corns. There's one, two, three, four, five. See, they're getting really tall. So exciting. Uh, this right here is eggplant. And it is, has a couple flowers on them. Some are about to sprout. Um, the leaves are really soft. I didn't know that. I'm learning a lot about plants too. And these over here, I believe they are more cucumbers. Um, yes, I think these are more cucumbers. But yes, oh, and these two right here. One, two. I don't know what I was thinking, but I put two pumpkins right there, which um, are growing very, very large too. So again, I don't know why I put pumpkins there. I guess I just got super excited to start planting. And over here, this big thing, see if you can see it okay. This big thing right here in this black pot is a combination of potatoes. These are sweet potatoes on this side and these are regular potatoes on this side. And I think there's a melon growing in there somewhere too. My friend donated this one to me and I was super excited because I love sweet potatoes. Love them, love them, love them. And yeah, this kind of just poofed up overnight too it seems like I mean it's it's already coming out and the the leaves are falling all the way down the side of it and onto the ground so it's getting a little out of control but I love it and this guy right here I'm a little bit embarrassed this was a basil plant this was a gift that was given to me and it was already bloomed I guess and it was just beautiful and 
rich in the color green, but it just, I don't know if I watered it too much or I didn't give it enough sunlight or I gave it too much sunlight. I don't know. Um, so if you're watching this friend, I'm so sorry. I think I killed your basil plant, but I did get to eat some of it. So it was really tasty. So one more thing guys, there is this crawfish that is chilling right here. Um, I think that he came out of the crawfish hole and died in my garden. Maybe heat stroke, I don't know. But I found him without a, without a claw and I just put him here so he can scare the bugs away, maybe keep the uh, birds out of my garden. Probably not, but hey, it may be worth a shot. See, so here he is up close. See him? I like to call him Credence, no, one claw, Credence the claw one, one claw the craw. Okay, so basically he's missing a claw, so I'm calling him one claw Credence the crawfish. Sound good? <laughs> this little guy. That's all. Okay guys, that, that about wraps up the garden and the progress that it's gone. Um, like I said earlier, I am so, so beyond excited to watch this whole process take place. Um, seriously, like just thinking about how I'm able to produce my own food and not have to rely on somebody else for it or, you know, Pay money for it when those seeds cost like a penny you know it's it's so it's such a good feeling it's such a good feeling of freedom um, being free from having to depend on somebody else you know for good tomatoes and sweet potatoes and yummy corn um, I just can't wait and I really hope that you guys could consider growing your own garden or some type of food or just get your hands on something that you can take care of and nurture and watch it grow and you can benefit from it um, in a freeing way. So I thank you guys so much again for watching. Hope y'all are having a great day and staying kind to one another. See y'all next time.